Tracy from Old One Games here. Whew. Got lots of really great stuff for you today. Um, it's a lot. It's a lot. I know it's been a minute um, since my last video and I apologize. Um, we just have a lot of stuff going on. You know, with the um, shipping crisis, things are finally starting to pick up. So we've been getting all the bags out. And of course, you know, the exclusives. And of course, we just had the November pre-orders. So if you missed any, please stop by our shop because we still have lots available and we want to um, spread the love. So let's get started, okay? So I just want to start by showing you guys my beautiful dress. It's the latest from the um, Loungefly Stitch Shop uh, Fall line. It of course matches the um, Ghost Mini that is slotted to arrive in stock any minute and um, you can also wear it with um, the pumpkin Mickey that uh, is in stock now or last year's ghost Mickey or if you have the um, bat Mickey that LA style rush made last year that will also match so it has a beautiful um, plaid print with the uh, pumpkin Mickey bat Mickey and ghost Mickey and it is super cute. I have been wearing it all day and I got lots of compliments. It is absolutely gorgeous. It is so soft. And if you attach a crinoline skirt underneath it, it looks extra cute. So, moving on. I want to start with an exclusive. And our first exclusive is Bibbidi. So, by Bibbidi did, um, they remade the Han Solo bag. And I absolutely love it. You know I'm a big Star Wars fan. So of course I had to have it. Um, so it is absolutely gorgeous. You can tell that it's high quality. Get a good look at it. So um, the reason I love this bag is because there's so much detail. There are lots of little appliques all over the bag. So on the top, uh, there's lots of little details and they're done in the way of the appliques so that we you know, feel like we're actually wearing Han Solo's jacket and his belt. Um, and they made sure that the color contrasts were extremely noticeable. You know, when you have a lot of brown on brown, um, sometimes there's a lot lost in that. So they were very color conscious uh, about the types of browns and the hues that they chose so that we would not, um, it wouldn't just look like one brown jacket. Uh, and that's very important. And they wanted to make sure that it actually matched the jacket that he wore. So that, again, this is very important, especially for Star Wars fans. We're real nitpicky, you know, we really, eh, eh, you know, we're real, oh, that doesn't look right, you know? So they did a very good job. Um, like literally, if you look here, see this, these little details, um, and if you feel it, you can tell they've been debossed and embossed. So the small little details that they put into it to show us that they cared, you know, that really, um, you know, match the movie uh, and the character is very important. See, we have um, in the pocket is an OG pocket. Uh, if you look here, you see that his belt, it has lots of little details. The buckle, it looks like a real buckle. Um, and then right here, this is actual metal hardware. So it's not just, um, you know, an applique and fabric. There's a metal buckle. So it's, it's very, very unique, um, and it's definitely Han Solo. You can't make a mistake that it's another character. You know, sometimes if it's a stormtrooper, you can't tell if it's something from the Bad Batch, or you can't tell, you know, um, from which movie that it is. But this is definitely Han Solo. There's no making that mistake. And, of course, it has side pockets, which we know are very important, um, fashion and function. Um, and then, of course, we have our our straps and they are black and let's have a look at the inside lining so it's star wars in black and you can tell i've been using it because my stuff is in it so i immediately literally pulled it out of the box which by the way they did a custom box bibbity and then it was in a um a dust bag so pulled it right out now the only thing is it was hot um in the box so of course we had some tissue paper that stuck to it and i know that a lot of people in the forums they were like oh my goodness tissue paper is stuck to the bag don't panic. It's not that big of a deal. You just take a microfiber cloth, get it damp with a little moist, you know, warm water, and then you dab it until the tissue paper comes off. I still need to do that because I was in such a hurry. We were going to an event and I was decked out in my Star Wars gear and I needed my bag. So I still have yet to fix that. No big deal. It's going to come off real easy. I promise. 
So obviously this is an A plus. I love the bag. Um, as I said, I wear my bags and I display my bags. So I of course have two, two. one to wear and one for the wall. Good job, Bibbidi. Okay, so next we have Rexy. So I didn't get the original Rex because I'm not um, I'm not going to pay the crazy eBay prices. I'm not going to pay $400 for a bag. Um, okay, so yes, we all know how much I paid for my Dr. Seuss, but that's different. That's different. Don't get me started on that one. And yes, by the way, I finally wore that bag. And I almost had a like a panic attack because this lady tried to take it off the table and put it on the floor. I thought it was going to rip her hair out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that almost happened. So this bag is significantly larger and that's okay because as a mom and a wife, we have a lot of stuff. Cause you know, our husbands, they we have these tiny little wallets in their little back pockets and that's it. And they expect us to carry everything else. So a larger bag to me is fine. I'm okay with that. So the size does not bother me in the slightest bit. And of course it has nice big side pockets. Love this. I love that it has a huge side pocket. I mean, it's like enormous. I can actually fit one of those big, you know, wallets in this side pocket. And the other ones, I don't think you can. Like maybe the flap wallets, the smaller flap wallets, maybe. So um, it also has a nice big front pocket and Rexy's on the front. So his face has an applique and then his body's an applique and then he has these tiny little feet. See the little feet? So the thing about the feet is, yes, they're cute and I love them. I'm not dogging them at all. Please don't think that. I just want you to remember that when you place him in a cubby like these behind me, um, he is going to do this, okay? So you're going to have to place something behind him so that his, you know, he stands up in the cubby, otherwise he will fall over. Uh, and again, so he is a light colored bag, you know, it's this pale blue with the white. So you are going to want to take a microfiber cloth and you're gonna wipe him down because unless you're like me and you ordered him a lot and he came in a plastic bag, customers will have touched him in the store and you want to get off all their fingerprints and the dust and all the other stuff that he picked up in the store with your micro microfiber cloth. Then you'll want to use your cleanser to cleanse the bag, let it air dry, and then you are going to take your treatment. Um, like if I, cause I use the coach. So you then treat the bag again, let it air dry and then take it once more with the microfiber cloth and then he should be good to go because we want to protect our bags so that when we wear them, uh, you know, they don't, you know, pick up any gross things or markings uh, they won't come off. So on the back, uh, look at all these tags. I have never seen a bag with so many tags. There are like seven tags as complete waste of dead trees. It has a very large loop. Um, I don't actually think I've ever seen a loop like that one. I don't mind because it's not one of those weird ones you can't hang on the wall. Um, I just think that's unusual. Um, so I haven't seen that many bags with these straps. So until I try it on, I, I can't really comment on that, but it's definitely different because it's got that weird little hook, but I don't imagine that they would be uncomfortable, but I'll have to let you know after I try wearing it. On the back, it does say, were you scared? Fear me, please. I think because, you know, he's a dinosaur, I imagine. Um, but I do think this is a very cute bag. And it's funny because I have, um, you know, I have the uh, Disney jersey. Oh, I love the lining. I love the lining. It's cute little dinosaurs. Oh, my God, that is so cute. It reminds me when my boys were little and we used to collect all the dinosaurs. Uh, and then my son used to watch these silly YouTube videos called Dinosaur Office and they would go, roar. Yes, so okay, I'll stop now. So yeah, so Rex is super cute and I do like it. That is a good bag. Um, okay, so, okay, so these next two box lunch bags, uh, I, I can't defend myself in purchasing them. I just, I'm, I can't, I won't. So feel free to laugh at any time. I will probably laugh while looking at them. So mind you, I haven't seen them outside of the plastic yet, so this is gonna be my raw reaction. In fact, you know, to be honest, when I first uh, got the little flyer uh, saying that they were being made, I was just like, this is dumb. Why are they doing this? 
and then I ended up buying them and I was trying to, you know, like convince myself that it wasn't dumb and I wasn't doing something stupid. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. I, could, I was like, I'm not wearing these in public though. I'm not doing it. They're just going to go on the wall. <laughs> I was like, they're just staying on the wall. I kept thinking they should have made a McNugget bag. You know, I mean, think about it. One that actually, okay, you remember the little cartoon McNuggets from the commercials? They used to like walk across the screen. I was like, they should have made a McNugget bag with the faces on it. So I bought this and I was just like, I, that would be like wearing a Kmart bag. That's what I told myself. I was like, would I go out in public wearing a Kmart bag? You know, that said Kmart on it with their Kmart logo. But I just couldn't help myself, so I, I bought the bag. And my friend got me the the Happy Meal crossbody. I'm just waiting for it to get here. So I did, I bought the bag. Um, it has one of those handles I don't like. Um, and I'm not really a yellow bag person necessarily. Definitely not with that Cheeto orange that it's got going on. Uh, cause it definitely looks like the Egg McMuffin wrapper, but I just couldn't help myself. I bought it. I just, I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know what I was thinking. I'm still not sure what I was thinking. Um, I just, I don't know. I don't know. So I, I think I would have liked it better if this wasn't a cloth tag. And I don't know about these these things either. I don't know. I mean, I'm being, I'm being honest. I'm being honest. Let's look at the, let's look at the non-existent, you know, I mean, it's just a plain yellow, yellow liner. I think I just bought it because it just, it just looked ridiculous and I just couldn't help myself. I just thought it's like a retro thing and I thought maybe it's just like as a nostalgia thing, you know? So, I mean, it, it doesn't feel like like super cheap, like, you know, really thin. Um, the straps do feel uh, kind of heavy. Um, and it does have kind of a little cool little paper tag. Although I swear, I feel like it should have french fries in it. <laughs> I mean, I mean, come on. I, I just can't stop thinking it's just like a joke because it says Egg McMuffin all over it. So yeah, that's the yellow one. I'm not done. Oh my God. I bought the red one too. I don't even know. I don't even know. Ugh. But now I feel like I have to kind of wear it. Just because, oh my God, this one has burgers all over it. Oh my goodness. I almost said a bad word. Woo. Ugh. Okay. Yeah. Woo. So it has burgers, fries, and sodas on it. I don't know which one makes me want to laugh more. It's almost like you bought something as a dare. I mean, the Happy Meal one is actually kind of cute, you know? These aren't ugly, ugly or anything. They aren't. I mean, they are, they are cute. Oh, there's milkshakes. No, no, no. Those are McFlurries. It's just, um, I don't know. I mean, they don't feel cheaper. They actually feel kind of heavy. Um, I just, I don't know. These, no. And they don't have side pockets. And they don't have a custom liner. Like, this one's going to have a red liner. See, told you. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know. Okay. I, just, I don't know. So, yeah. It has that handle I don't like. But the straps are nice and thick. Um, and the bag actually does feel like a quality bag. Um, it's different. It's definitely different. Um, so, okay, I bought this shirt to go with it. I, so I must have instinctually thought I would actually wear it. Um, and my friend actually got me the cosmetic bag set to go with the little purse. And I think there's like a little McNugget pack in there. So that's kind of funny. So this is the t-shirt that goes with it. <laughs> I'm afraid I'll walk in there with a bag on and a t-shirt and they'll try to make me work in the back of a <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't stop.
stop. It's just too funny. I mean, oh, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Oh. No, no. I need a, a, a hamburger and a McFry guy costume. <laughs> oh. Okay. <clears throat> so next, we have Pink A La Mode's um, new Disney uh, bags. And these are the Halloween ones. So this is the um, Headless Horseman. Okay. Um, so I like the images. Um, and it has the middle Disney. And it has a loop. And then here are your uh, straps. And it has, you know, your metal hardware. Uh, it feels like they're like wrapped in plastic. Um, Mickey and Friends. Storybook, I guess, is the company that makes them through with Disney. Uh, let's have a look inside. I love the print. It is a very cute print. I really do. It's a plain liner. Uh, it's a little bit bigger than the, um, the lounge fly bags. Uh, I think I would have liked it if the straps were a little, a little more comfortable. They're kind of stiff. Um, it does have side pockets though. See? You'll have to ask me after I've actually worn it. I mean, it's hard to say until I've actually had it on my back. Um, first impressions, they're, they're nice. They're nice. Um, would I wear it over my lounge fly bag? I don't know. Ask me after I've worn it for an honest opinion. Um, to me, I, I just, uh, I guess I just feel like the lounge fly ones are a better quality. Um, this one's the the scaredy Mickey one. And again, we have side pockets. Um, I do love the print though. I really do. This is a cool print. Like I said, I do think it's a, a little bit bigger in size than the lounge fly ones. Um, uh, but I do still think the lounge line ones are probably, um, a better quality. Okay. Ooh, something, um, different. So I don't know if you guys know this, but I like a regular choice. So these are from a regular choice and I love the box. See how pretty it is. It looks like, you know, a shopping bag, but it's shoes. So these I got from... You can buy these, well, not right now, you can't, because they're sold out on actualregularchoice.com. So, but I got these at fun.com. Super, super cute. Super cute. But I love them. Okay, they're awesome sauce. They're Gudetama. The Lazy Egg. I love them. They are super sparkly. You get real close for you, so you can see how cool they are. See the detail. I love these. So you can get these at like Lullabites or fun.com or well, like I said, they're sold out on um, the regular choice site. Uh, but you know, if you try Lullabites or fun.com and there's some other sites out there that carry them, um, they are really awesome. Like I said, they are oh, expensive, but they are amazing. Okay, and then 
let's see some Coraline bags because we did get some really cool stuff in from the Coraline. Actually, let's start with the ears first. So these are the Spooky Mice ears. So these are in stock right now and the bag should be arriving soon, we hope. Oh, I love these. They're so cute. Obviously, these match the dress I'm wearing. And they do glow in the dark. They're so pretty. I love to accessorize. And then, of course, so we have Beetlejuice. This year's um, Pop Beetlejuice is super cute. He does glow in the dark. Um, I love this cute little charm on the side. It's the snake. And if you look at the applique, real close. And then of course we have side pockets, side pockets. And then of course look at our straps, they are super cute. And if you look, you see him on the back. And then let's look at the lining. See the little heads on the inside. I love this bag. It looks super cute. And the cool thing is that like fun.com they have this really adorable um outfit that matches him. And then Unique Vintage also did some really cute um Beetlejuice dresses and um hair accessories. And of course we do have the matching wallet. And the crossbody, I think, is coming soon. Um, and then we have the little mermaid crossbody for the castle. It's so pretty. And the matching wallet is here. So pretty. And a lot of people are waiting for this. And I believe we're getting the backpack next week. See, it's so pretty. Of course, it has the, um, the long strap, too. So you can obviously carry it as the crossbody or in the handbag. Gorgeous. And then we have Hades. This one came out so well. See, I really like the, um, if you look closely, you can see the glitter details. Um, and then of course we have debossing, embossing, and then we have our appliques. Look at how gorgeous this is. This is glitter. You can really see that he is just like an awesome villain. They did such a beautiful job on this bag. And then look at the straps. We have the flames on the straps. Look at the lining. Love the lining. They're getting so inventive. So he looks so good. And this is the Hades villain scene bag. And of course we have the wallet. And then, oh, so I love this crossbody. So this is um, the Monsters, Inc. crossbody, and it's so much bigger um, than it looked in the picture. It is really big, and look at this. There are 3D effects inside, so see, you can actually touch his little hand. Look at this. Same with Solly, look. You can reach in there and touch him. And this is a magnetic. And then, of course, the inside, it's like that accordion. So it's a really big crossbody. It came out so nice. I can't believe it. It's so pretty. Oh, and I forgot to show you guys the Little Mermaid wallet. Oh, there's so many bags. Oh my goodness. 
And I have so many exclusives that I have to show you in the next video too. Woo! They're coming in. It's hard to believe that stuff is finally shipping and moving. So this is cinnamon roll. And look at her. She's so pretty. Again, it's the white bag. So you're going to want to clean it. Um, you're going to want to treat it. And then let it air dry because it's white. And you're going to want to protect it. Um, and then, of course, we got our fluffiness. Look at this. So cute. Look at the charm. So we have fluffy here. We have fluffy here. We have embroidery. We have debossing. And then on the back. Oh, look at the tail. Look at the tail. Oh, my God. It's so cute. I love all the pastel. It's so gorgeous. And then, of course, we're going to look on the inside. And our lining. It is so pretty. See, look at that cinnamon roll, so pretty. So if you are a Sanrio fan, oh my goodness, this is a perfect bag for you. And of course it does have a matching wallet. And then of course we didn't get the bag in yet, but this is the um, Universal Monsters wallet. We love it, don't we? So many bags guys so many bags oh but it looks like we are running out of time and I hope you guys like all of the bags and all of the wallets and the kicks of course oh goodness gracious and don't ask me about the McDonald's bags oh my goodness I still don't know why I did that I, I I'll probably wear them I don't I don't like to buy stuff if I'm not going to wear it except for you know my sequins you know, the the mini main attraction ones. Those will probably never come off the wall. I'm just terrified someone's going to damage them. I am terrified. But I hope that you guys liked everything. And if you have any questions about anything that you saw. Or you are interested in buying any of the Coraline bags that I showed you. Or you have any questions that you would like for me to answer. Drop it in the comments. And I will get back to you. And thanks guys so much for sitting with me. And I hope that you enjoyed watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye.